The Myono PD100 is a $50 XLR dynamic microphone. At that price point, I'd normally think of the Behringer XM8500, which Podcastage considers the best deal in audio. I had one for a while, and although it had a hefty low end, which is useful for my scrawny voice, I eventually gave it away because the muddy midsection always bothered me. Enter the Myono PD100, which is an XLR dynamic microphone that is not handheld and is actually designed for podcasts. Like seriously, they do call it the podcaster on their website. Now I should mention that Myono did send me this microphone for me to review. Yes, we got our first sponsored mic unboxing, but I will share my unfiltered opinion. Let the unboxing begin. Okay, let's unbox this. This is a big box, and in typical Mayono fashion, as I have learned so far, they don't have the ceiling stickers that Fifine likes to use. Okay, let's keep opening. Ooh, is that another box? I think this is a cover kind of like in the DM30. Just gonna pour it out. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. Is there anything else inside? Yeah, I just got the base of the box, so our microphone is intact. I am liking this foam. And for the actual mic, ooh, this microphone reminds me of another one I reviewed on this channel. Look how similar it is to the Audio-Technica AT2040. Very similar. Except the Audio-Technica is twice the price of the Myono, and it's not even renowned for its sound. Back to the Myono. Look at that beauty. Is that an all-metal body? That's what it says in the box. The full metal body delivers excellent shielding performance and durability. Now I'm looking at Myono's similarly priced USB condenser microphone the Myono DM30, and let's touch that. Definitely metal. Definitely plastic. This is super solid. This is quite hollow. The grill on the DM30 definitely feels plasticky, and this is definitely metallic too. Okay, so I checked out the Myono website, and it turns out that the DM30 also has a full metal body construction. Now, even if that is the case, the PD100 just feels more robust and industrial. Another similarly priced microphone, the Fifine A6V, is all plastic. Now let's see what's in the box in the box. Accessories. What? 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 Is that an XLR cable? This might be the first microphone I've unboxed to come with an XLR cable. So that means if you already have an audio interface, you don't even need to buy an XLR cable. Granted, I'm not familiar with this brand. It doesn't seem to have a brand, but the cables do look thick. Hmm. Now, I wouldn't know how much shielding this would have compared to something like a Mogami Gold, which is the cable I'm using for my SM7B right now, but it does look like it can block out some interference. High-grade, low-noise microphone cable. We'll put that to the test. What else comes in the box? Ooh! This is an extender for when you're hanging the microphone. You can also use it to add height to the tabletop stand. Very good. Look at that tripod. Ooh. Swivels all the way to the other side. Nice. If you remove the base of the stand, which is pretty hefty, by the way. Pretty hefty. You can see that there's both a 3 8 inch thread and a 5 8 inch thread, eliminating the need for an adapter. So this package so far weighs 633.3 grams. That is hefty. Now the mic on its own weighs 238.5 grams. Compare that to the Audio-Technica, 562.2 grams. That's impressive. Myono was able to get the benefit of build quality and shielding of an all-metal body while keeping it fairly light. Yes, this is all-metal. Doesn't feel cheap. That weight is gonna be helpful for travel podcasts. Anything else in the box? Of course, you get the manual. All right, let's try it out. Okay, so now you're hearing me on the Shure SM7B, and we are gonna raise the gain of the Myono little by little. Raising that gain. Raising that... What? What? Wow! Wow! I like that. I like that sound. 
Hello. Brilliant. Can you hear this microphone? $50 mic. It sounds great. Not gonna lie. It doesn't need a lot of gain. In fact, I can drop that a bit more if I wanted to. Now let's stick with this. Now this is a dynamic cardioid microphone, so it rejects background noise really well. You probably can't hear my AC right now. Just a moment of silence. Silence. Even when my gain is really high, the background noise is quiet. That means I can whisper into this microphone. Because it's cardioid, it's going to capture audio in this pattern and not a lot of noise from the back. The frequency response is 60 hertz to 14 kilohertz. I like that. That means you'd remove a lot of unwanted airy sounds. And because it starts at 60 hertz, that means you're getting rid of a lot of low end frequencies. Like when we tap on this table, the something isn't very pronounced. Now you've probably noticed this already, but this is kind of a plosive magnet. Peter Piper picked a pack of pickled peppers. Peter, oh. Peter, ooh. Now I wonder if we can open the grill. Yeah, I don't think you can. Okay, for those of you who are curious to see how the PD-100 would look on a mic arm, this is how it would look. Could be facing up could be facing down. We can tilt this. And how does that sound if I tap on my table? If I'm typing away? That is excellent. Like while chatting and talking and talking and typing, it is rejecting a lot of that. I think the only concern people might have with this is that if you're not using good mic technique, you will have to deal with plosives. If you take three, four fingers like so, put it in front of the mic, then tilt to the side about 45 degrees. There you go. Peter Piper, you're gonna be fine. So with the right mic technique, I think this is a great mic. Another great feature I haven't mentioned is this mic's ability to take shouting. Hello! Yeah! Awesome! I am saying some voice acting lines very intensely! That's thanks to its max SPL of 132 dB. Another possible con for this microphone is the not so subtle branding. You have Mayono written at the top, side and back of the microphone. So if you plan to do a video podcast, that's definitely gonna be visible. I guess that's one way they're able to make this cheap. They can cut costs on marketing and ads by having the branding on the mic itself. So would I recommend the Mayono PD-100? For gaming, podcasts, and voiceover, without hesitation. For $49.99, this microphone punches way above its weight class. I wouldn't quite recommend it for singers because it can only go as high as 14 kilohertz. But again, $49.99 with a tabletop stand, all metal body, great sounding mic, included XLR cable. The value of this package is at least four times of what you're paying for. Now, if you like videos like this, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down there. It really does motivate me to make more videos like this one. And speaking of more videos, before Mayono sent me the PD-100, I actually already bought my own. So watch out for the video where we test the Mayono PD-100 in a real world podcast setting. In the meantime, check out this other video.